All right, so moving on with this case study, decided to take another step further and relaunch that uh, one campaign that got shut down or suspended. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it was because of the fact that I had the real feathers in there, the ones that were part of the original logo. <clears throat> so what I've decided to do here is I redesigned the shirt logo. You can see it here. And I simply just replaced it with different feathers I found. I did put the little circle there that's sort of a a thing of, with the logo there you could see a little circle so I kind of put that in there as well so people will still recognize that yeah this is for the Blackhawks but the feathers are a lot different I'm hoping it won't get shut down I'm pretty sure it won't there's nothing else in here infringing that I can see and my other my other shirts were fine the ones that didn't have anything distinctive like that and this is what the new shirt looks like so basically the same as I swapped out the sweat the feathers and I made this new ad like this. I thought this looked a lot better. So all I did is I just simply took my strap that I, cr I created. These are just um, rectangles that I stuck in there. This is really simple to make. Like I can show you real quickly here. I just created some uh, rectangular squares. You know, when you grab that rectangle tool in the toolbar and you just make squares like that. And then you just um, color them red, right? Put double click in the layer. I already showed all this kind of stuff in the design step in the uh, design module, but you know, just it's really simple to do it. Can uh, control alt to, oops, select this object, control alt to make a copy of it, and you just make this one white. Do it again. Make this one black. Basically that's all I did and then just kind of sh shrunk it to fit in. So if I take the uh, white one again and duplicate it, put just underneath here. And then there's one more that the red, duplicate it and put it down the bottom. It doesn't quite all fit in there so just grab them all and just, oh, that didn't work. There we go grab it all then sort of shrink it down so even and that's basically all I did and I just stuck the shirt over top like that and made it fit in a little bit there well looks like I got a rest or not raster but convert that to smart object again I show you all this sort of all these little tricks and whatnot in the design module but so I want to quickly show you what I did. I just stuck it in there, gave it, gave it a quick drop shadow, and then just uh, found a logo and just stuck the logo here. Now it's okay to like I'm I'm putting this logo on my ad, so obviously it's not on my shirt. So I just stuck it in here like this, and that's basically all I I did that quick. So I'll just go with this one. So the next thing I want to do is um, go and list that ad. So you can see I've got the the new one here listed. So here it is. I've got it going here. So I'm going to redo this one here. I'm going to go back to my Blackhawks and I'm going to post that in here again. So I'm just going to do what I did last time. So let's just go to a different, different one and just use the same text here. And I'm going to re you write it quickly because it ends on the fourth not the third and I want the correct link there so I'm gonna go get my link from my Teespring page right click and copy so I'm just grabbing the link from up here put it here so let's just grab this and so I'm gonna do a image a clickable image link post in here instead like similar to this one you see here alright so I'm gonna go in here and upload my own image and the one that I just showed you I'm gonna use that one there interesting looks like it doesn't want to go all the way to the edge there huh it must mean that this one is a lot bigger. 
Hmm. I'm not sure. I just went and looked on my computer. Um, that original ad that I created, it's the same size. Hmm. Not sure. <clears throat> I'm just going to leave it like that. Here, I'm going to put buy here for only $19.50. Sale ends June 4th. More shirt styles available. Click here. I'm going to try something different here. Say the buy. How about? Pre order here for only nineteen fifty. Yeah, let's try that. Never did that before. Okay, so there we go. That's my post, and let's go ahead and post it. I'm going to refresh. Ah, there we go. Now it came out the full view and. It looks beautiful. Now this is a clickable post. As soon as you click on that, you go directly to it. And so all I want to do now is quickly list that in the power editor. So I'm just going to come in here and do a refresh. Download my info again. Let's go into my active campaigns. <clears throat> this is the bleed campaign. Look at the ad sets. I'm just going to take the one that st I stopped because I was pointing to the other shirt that got suspended. So I'll take that one and duplicate it again. And I'll just call it um, Blackhawks Bleed 2. And I'm going to jack this up to 100. Now there's something I want to do um, before I get into the ads is I do want to dial in my ad a little bit. And I'll show you how to do that by using the reports. So I want to get the latest post. Whoops. Doesn't look like it got the latest post here. What's this one? Okay, there it is. That's the one there. I'm going to call this add one because the whole new shirt. I'll keep it that. I did create a new pixel, so I'm going to delete that one and select the correct one. Hawks. Let's bleed to right there. Select so everything's the same except I'm going to tighten up the age here. And I'm gonna go from 18 to 34. In addition, I want to remove this sportsman thing. It'll be 1.1 million but I am reducing it down and so the way that I came up with that if we go back to the other campaigns we had running there the bleed and let's look at the other one that got cancelled and look at the the stats so this one right here remember we had two sales on that one so I went and looked at the age so age group of who bought so I clicked on this here and went into the report reports and like usual, like I showed before, click Edit Columns and click um, I went Demographic Actions. And in Actions, you want to select the Conversions here. Now let's take a look at who bought. So go over to the Conversions column and sort there. So the top two are the ones that bought. And so you can see here it's females 18 and 24 and females 25 to 34. Now if we actually go look at the other campaign for the Blackhawks, the one that also got uh, suspended because of the feathers in it, there was another sale in that one as well. So I want to show you that too. So let's go back to the campaigns and go to one more. Inside this one here, click View Report and do the same thing see who bought demographic actions and then checkouts 
and sort by that one conversion there and who bought it was males from 18 to 24 so I decided to go 18 to 34 because in the other one there was a female that purchased between 18 to 24 and another female purchased between 25 to 34 so I went from 18 to 34 for male and female so I narrow it down and I could do the sportsman um, but I got a feeling that it should do okay based on the um, the fact that people really like that design so the design hasn't changed much I just changed the feathers and that shouldn't make that big a deal out I guess we'll find out right <laughs> and so that's basically why I came up with that of course I could still like I said narrow it down more but I'm gonna keep it at that and see how this goes optimize CPM and uh, yeah that's it so I gotta go to add set grab this bleed too and I'm going to upload it Let's see it do its magic there now if we go back to my campaigns go inside a bleed we should see the new pending one in review alright so that's how I would go about um, recovering from a suspended t-shirt. I've done this several times where one would be suspended just change it up a little bit and do it again and then most times I actually would contact my rep at Teespring and say is this okay I, I didn't do it in this case because I'm pretty sure it's because of those feathers like if you look at my other campaigns the um, the one that's selling here this one here it doesn't have anything violating with it all I'm using is the colors of the Montreal Canadian so they like that one so the only difference here is I added my own feathers in it and like any feathers it should be fine hopefully <laughs> But you never know, you know, if they don't like the look of the feathers, they think it's too close to the to the other uh, logo, they'll suspend it because they're really cautious right now. So anyhow, that's just I just want to keep adding a little bit to this case study to show some things that I do um, when I'm trying to um, work out a big campaign like this with 10 different shirts. Now I decided to actually go and contact my T rep a Teespring rep just to be on the safe side and this is all I'm gonna ask her you know hey Kim quick question I launched 10 shirts 10 new shirts yesterday NFL niche and two of my Chicago Blackhawk designs got taken down most likely due to the feathers that were in my design here is the design that got shut down so I changed the feathers to something generic that I got there's nothing the same as the original logo and I relaunched the campaign here is the new campaign link there can you please run this by the copyright team just to make sure it's okay so the rep doesn't actually make these decisions at all, but there is a team at Teespring that does sort of overlook these and make decisions like that. So I'll get her to forward that over to the to the team, and she'll let me know probably today whether or not it's going to be okay. Just want to be on the safe side, right? You don't want to have um, anything bad happen. Like I don't want my Teespring account shut down. So that was two that got suspended pretty quickly, and so you know if I get more suspended then obviously they're gonna be like hey look you can't work with us at Teespring anymore so you definitely want to stay in communication with your rep to get a rep is really easy um, you simply just contact support at teespring.com and they just give you somebody if not then yeah just keep contacting just use support at teespring.com and ask the same question I do whatever and you'll get response they're really good at getting back at you so I'll go ahead and send that out <laughs> 